Do you ever wonder, what if there's some way you can see in the night? Because you might have been killed in pure darkness. Or just think, hey, there's a bunch of cheaters. And that just might be the case if you're in the wrong server. Or some other thing you might not be understanding. Right to jail. Well, today I'm going to show you what that other thing might be. And no, 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 no. It's not going to be some sort of hex or cheats. <clears throat> By definition, I just want to make it clear. It's an exploit, not a cheat. So without further ado, let's get straight into it. Night vision. It's a great, wonderful tool. Well, it's a good one, sometimes, but it has its drawbacks, like its protection and its distortion, but to be fair, it's supposed to be realistic, but it's just painful to use sometimes. But what if there was a better way to see? What if there was another way? What could have been of the situation? And to you, I say there is another way that doesn't include such a painful thing. Yeah, what a wonderful thing. Sucks I didn't know about it sooner, considering it's been out for a while. But that's where I come into play. To expose the dirty advantage that can be used by anyone and goes undetected for those using the exploit. For educational purposes, of course. Well, here goes nothing. First off, you'll need NVIDIA. You could probably install it without a RTX graphics card, but I'm not entirely sure how that would work. Okay, you'll want to stick around for the entire process if you want this to work properly. So once you got NVIDIA, you're going to want to launch it. Now sadly, this was patched in the making of this video with the new NVIDIA driver update. However, things aren't always as they seem. I found a way around this that took me a while to completely understand, and I mean at least a week when it really shouldn't have, so just follow along. First, I tested this with at least 20 different dated drives, so I'm confident in saying that you can use this with any drive, even the latest one where they attempted to patch it. From this point on, you just do what goes on in the video. Just wanted to state this. Okay, carry on. Your game, which will be Rust in this case. Then, once your game is launched, you're going to want to join a server, like a sandbox server, so you can use a command to turn your rust time into a dark night. Once in, type in this nighttime command, which will be admin time 1, and if it's not nighttime by some off chance, then you'll use different numbers until you get a dark night. Then, the next command you'll type in is admin fog 1. Now things should have gotten really dark. Once you get to this point, you are going to want to open up NVIDIA and check filters. This is where all the magic happens. Alright, now that you are here, go and create a filter style and I'll show you a couple of nice ones to see in the dark with. We'll start off with Sharpen Plus, then turn on Y and Z axis, then have Intensity and Texture Details all the way turned all the way up. This is necessary to be able to see in the dark. This is so necessary in fact that this will be your core reason why you will be able to see in the dark and it's all because the filter Sharpen Plus. Without it, it, this couldn't work. Then the next filter you are going to need to complement Sharpen Plus is going to be details as it will make things more clear and brighter. 
The settings for details can be subjective as they all give brightness, but if you want them to be the way I had them in the video, for the most part, you'll need them to be at max, meaning sharpness, HDR toning, clarity, bloom. You could have all of these max, or just optimize them to your liking. Then you'll be adding the colors filters to change, well, the way the colors look from soothing yellowish daytime tone or a green sort of night vision aesthetic or a black and white approach. So yeah, I'll show you how to create these different color styles by demonstrating them as follows. So yeah, you'll just have to play around with the different settings if you want to find the perfect match for you. Or not, you know, you don't have to. Okay, so by now you might have not noticed much of a difference, like shown in some parts of the video where you could see more clear. But this is not the case. Go ahead and look around with the Alt, and you'll come to find it's working, but it doesn't stay in the front. Don't worry, we're getting there. The next step you want to take now is closing your game then relaunching it. Now, when the game is launched, you should see that the NVIDIA filters are automatically on. You might have not noticed much, but things have changed. As soon as you join a sandbox server again to turn the time into nighttime, you'll notice the filters in full effect. Well, congratulations, you know the secret to being able to see at night now, so enjoy it before it gets patched, like the old gamma glitch that Rust had back then that took a while to fix. Another thing I wanted to mention was that when it's dark, and only when it's dark out, you'll be able to see in the ocean ground crystal clear as if there was no water, making it easy to find stuff if it gets lost. Also, you can see the fog clear if you turn down bloom all the way down, leave everything else high for details, sharpen plus the way I told you to have it, and colors is not necessary for this. So this is the end of the video. If you watched till the end and enjoyed, please like, comment, and subscribe, as I'll be doing a giveaway at my 100 subscribers special milestone. I'll be sure to keep you guys updated on whether it gets patched via title or doesn't, but you better sub or else. Come on, Santa's got a surprise.